Hey, how you doing out there, man? It's your boy Croy Giles, Socialite Heights TV, and we are here today at Stadium Goods, one of the brand new premium sneaker stores out here in New York, man. I got your exclusive. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna speak to one of the owners here today, holla at the staff. We're gonna definitely have a good time, all right, man? Socialite Heights TV. It's your boy Corey Giles right here and as I told you we have an exclusive. I am here with one of the co-owners and co-founders of Stadium Goods, John Bethesda. How are you doing today? I'm pretty man? good, pretty good. Pleasure meeting you. Oh, uh, can you tell me uh, how did you and your partners meet? Um, so I, I mean I've known these guys for a really long time. Uh, Jed used to throw me out of his nightclubs. And you may have just known from being around in the, in the sneaker scene. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, yeah, I mean, I've I've been in the business world for quite some time. You know, I was doing a lot of uh, social work for brands on the agency side in an agency called Team Epiphany, and then prior to that, I was running business development for a company called Flight Club. Oh, cool, cool, cool! Definitely huge. What spawned the whole? idea and just the the name stadium goods because to me it was a very unique name when i heard it but i'm like stadium like is it going to be like stadium atmosphere like you know we, we really wanted a way to showcase and put the spotlight on the footwear while also tying back to some of um, the sports iconography that really really makes some of the footwear special so for us that's really the genesis of the name came from was trying to find a way to um, bring that sports element into the footwear now, there are a lot of athletes, and you said stadium goods, that deal with shoes. Yeah. We got Bo Jackson, uh, Deion Sanders, yeah. Michael Jordan. Uh, who is your favorite like, collaborator when it comes to the shoes? Well, that's a tough one. I mean, it, it'd be very hard to trump Jordan, obviously. He, <laughs> he kind of he sits, sits alone. Um, I think in terms of athletes, you know, you mentioned Bo Jackson. Like, that was one of my first shoes that I really got excited about. Uh, the original Bo Jackson with the purple and the orange. I think we all had that. I had like two pairs of those uh, right there. So that, that would be a good one. I would definitely say him. And I think in terms of collaborators, there's a lot of a lot of different types of people that are collaborating in these days beyond that things that are pretty interesting. Whether it's more like a Kanye West or a Rob Five or a, uh, but there's a long list of people that are doing it right. Rappers. Um, <laughs> rappers. Rappers, rappers heavy, rappers. Big Sean, Pusher T. I mean, do you think there's any difference as far as the popularity between the rap artists doing it versus the actors doing it? Um, I, I think Kanye kind of broke that model a little bit. You know, like the excitement of the excitement behind a lot of his shoes um, was unprecedented. You know, and I mean, obviously people are always really excited about Jordans, but when a new Kanye comes out, it kind of breaks the internet, and that shows that they're on equal footing in a lot of ways. Entertainers are kind of like a really modern day athlete. Where for a long time, a Jordan or a large athlete can drive everything in one direction. Now it's, you could, it could be an entertainer or an athlete. Now, Stadium Goods isn't your average sneaker retail space now. It's resale. Now, the resale industry has been clocked in at billions of dollars. But I've done my homework on you and your partners, and you guys have an extensive background in not only business, sneakers, but also e-commerce, websites, technology. Why a resale store? You guys could have just opened up a retail space and probably like trumped a lot of the competition. You know, I, I, I think that it really comes to where we sell the void in the marketplace. Like you have a lot of very premium retailers that don't necessarily have the breadth of product to entice customers. And then you have places that do have that breadth of product, but without the premium experience that we're trying to provide. So for us, it was really about being able to corral all of these shoes and knowing that we had the, the resources to bring it all together and create something that, that we think is truly unique in the market. In terms of breadth of product and customer service, we're really trying to, to set a new bar. Um, and I think that's where we'll carve our path and hopefully well into the future be, be growing and doing exciting things. You know, you, you talk about the retail market being about a million dollars industry and I, there's a lot of speculation as to, as to how big it is but I think that um, one area that we really want to focus on is on um, being global with it and providing the experience for customers in other countries. I, I don't think that that has been done um, 
by very many people at all. I think even a lot of the top brands. Uh, that they And that's, that's something we're really looking to focus on. Definitely. I mean, you can't walk into millions of spaces and see these Air Max 90 infrared patches right here. Now, these were just fire. And I see you guys have kids. You guys have women's, men's. Yep. I mean, that's... And we're, we're also doing apparel. Um, so, right now, it's, it's mostly Supreme. We don't have a lot of that merchandise in store, but you can find it on the web. I think that if you fast forward three to six months from now, we're going to have a lot of other brands as well. It's not just going to be centered around Supreme, but we'll add brands as we have um, a rich inventory to offer. Now, as I look at your apparel that you have here in the store, um, what is your inspiration and what kind of pieces will we be seeing from the Stadium Goods Apparel Collection side of things? You know, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I wouldn't really want to give too much away. I'm not exclusive for, for now, it's um, For now, it's just pretty much. to help get our name out in a way that's cohesive. Um, I think where we'll go is much more in the realm of athletic apparel, um, well-made athletic apparel. I'll kind of leave that as a little teaser. I don't want to get too, too, too into much what our design, design elements is. Something else that I notice now, there are a lot of guys who love Supreme. I'm one of those, and it's like you can't just walk into any type of sneaker store or any store and get Supreme apparel. Yeah. I like you guys have it here and on your website. Like, yeah. That's huge. Like, how did that come about? Like, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of just taking the same approach that we did to footwear and finding people that had collectors or celebrities, whoever it was that had that name on them. All together so that we could provide that, that rich assortment. Um, I mean, when you have a product that's like a commodity product like the Supreme Shirt, there's always going to be people that are either hoarders or <laughs> duplicates for themselves. And then it's up for people want to get rid of it and they need a need a platform to do that so that's where we come in cool are there any clothing collaborations in the future for stadium goods like stadium goods and tommy hilfiger you stadium know goods and the <laughs> Hawks, like. yeah no, 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 nothing right now that would be worth speaking to you know um you know i would have 